Us. Um, the visit to the tomb is the core element of the whole cycle uh, of any Easter play developing. It's such a dramatic um, encounter, and uh, it's uh, the one part that has the largest core foundation in the Bible. But even more importantly, in a way, it was the inspiration for much of the early liturgy for the Easter uh, celebration. And through this um, liturgical celebration of Easter, the dramatic acting out develops. So I will see still some of these core elements that have fed through from the biblical report, through the early church um, amplifications for the liturgy to the high medieval sequences, uh, many of them composed in the big monasteries in southwest Germany, so on the Reichenau in, and in St. Gaul, and then being further spread, the good news, the Mere, that is the key word, uh, through the vernacular translation. Um, so we had in the last two lecture series uh, the constant interplay between comic scenes and the biblical report. The part where we're coming to now is um, also interlinking different scenes, but they're all on a biblical foundation. And um, the humor is there, but much more in the background. Uh, you can uh, actually observe Jesus cracking a joke mm. uh, in <laughs> between, uh, which, uh, if you've read uh, The Name of the Rose, um, was a, a big discussion point in the Middle Ages. Did uh, Jesus ever laugh? So, in the Innsbruck Easter play, he um, laughs or at least uh, makes slightly fun of Mary Magdalene. As, as she comes to um, search for him. So, even though we are uh, concentrating in this lecture series on a close reading, I'll do a very uh, quick run through the tradition of this specific scene. If you want to hear it in an extended format, you can still uh, revisit the lecture series of three years ago where um, I expanded on it. Um, so you see the um, Italian ivory on the left hand side from the 4th, 5th century. The empty tomb is the first uh, symbol of uh, that is visualized. So it, it actually starts so that's uh, with just the uh, hero, the sign for Christ, and then everything around the tomb is expanded. So you see here the three uh, Marys, and um, that could build on the dramatic report, the tropus fire, so celebrations. Uh, to trope something means just to amplify it. As you sing a, a, a longer hallelujah, uh, in a way it's incorporating a commentary into the text. And these troping um, went on um, with a dialogue from the Bible between the angels and the three Marys. They ask who will revolt the stone from the door of this monument, and the angel answers, um, non est hic, he isn't here, so rexit, he is risen as he predicted. And venite et videte, come and see. Um, and then, Sito eruntis dicite. So it's three imperatives. Venite, come, 
the digital C and then digital tell. And in a way, that's what the Easter plays all do. They encourage people to come to see them for themselves and then to go out and um, announce the good news to the wider um, world. And how it would have been done in uh, the early uh, period, and which is uh, then carried on also within the church, is that um, three of the clergy would go into the vestry um, while the reading is done, subtertia lectione. So while the reading is done about um, the Mary's going to the uh, tomb, they would uh, go and dress up as honest women, uh, ad modum honestarum mulierum, um, by having uh, just uh, the, their liturgical dresses with a hood up, um, so that uh, it could be uh, uh, like a, a married woman with a um, uh, bonnet, and uh, so they are in the sacristy in the vestry, and after the third lection is finished, and the organ starts playing the the sponsory exeant, they walk out. And so it's uh, as you then have still have in the Easter uh, place that they come from their place. So in a way, the uh, stage houses stand in then for this uh, the vestry where they come out and um, three boys um, with lights walking in front of them and then they uh, sing omnis tres simul consimi cantent versum so they first sing all the three of them and then uh, the first person and then it's the same Latin formulation that we have in the Innsbruck Easter play uh, sings uh, the verse and so on. And Eundo, um, while they are walking, at altare sancte crucis ante corum. So they walk to the altar of the Holy Cross. So the altar is standing in for the Holy Sepulchre. Um, since on the altar there would be the bread and wine, and the consecrated bread and wine. Um, believed to turn into the body of Christ. So you have a literal tomb to which you can, because it hoc est corpus meum, this is uh, the body of Christ. So it, it's not a staging in a sense, but it's um, a reenactment in the fullest sense that you, you can become one of those um, persons going to search Christ. And um, this call is then extended. We have already seen one of the sequences that is used as a basis for dramatic action, the Cum Rex Gloriae, which is actually a fairly late edition, but which then is used for the harrowing of hell. And much earlier is this type 2 amplification through the sequence Victime Pascalis. And um, this 11th century sequence turns um, the dialogue, uh, which um, is just implied in the Bible, um, between Mary Magdalene, who returns from the tomb to tell uh, the apostles, into an actual uh, conversation between the apostles who ask, Dic nobis Maria, quid vidisti in via? What have you seen? So report on us. And then um, it's a first person narrative of Mary Magdalene, who tells the apostles what uh, she has seen. And um, this question is then extended to, um, so in the church, 
the whole congregation would sing the Dignobis Maria. So this is increasingly acted out. So we have um, in the last uh, session that we are doing, I'll, I'll show you a play that was um, done by the nuns in, in northern Germany and they would just get up from their choir stalls. If you've um, ever been in New College to um, hear the St. John's Passion sung by the um, boys choir there, they still do it, they get up from the co in the choir stalls and sing the role of, um, for example, the uh, maidservant uh, telling on Peter um, is sung by one of the boys who will just stand up in uh, their surpluses and, and sing that role. And so in it, um, that would be how uh, they sang these sequences. Um, this is a, a screenshot from a YouTube video of a Latin the Zwiefalten uh, play, so the one where I showed you the stage instruction or the liturgical instruction early on by a, a group uh, around a musicologist in Tübingen, Stefan Morand, uh, who uh, tried to, to act it out. Yeah. So it starts now in the Innsbruck Easter play as um, the, the, with the angels uh, working again as um, after break signal uh, and um, signaling now silence and um, then they, the three Marys start with the actual biblical words of the very first uh, session. Again, as we've seen, they interpret what they are singing in Latin, in German. So, as uh, revolver the uh, move away becomes upheaven, so who lifts uh, the stone, uh, <laughs> which makes it it's a kind of domesticating translation because um, if you have a tomb in uh, the Holy Land, uh, you would have a closing uh, store, stone which you could roll away, while in a German churchyard you wouldn't be able to, to roll a, a stone away. You would uh, lift off uh, the lid of a um, tomb. So. Uh, the the Volvere is turned in upheaven. Uh, I, I quite like this uh, line in uh, 1100 where the third angel um, talks about they should tell it to Peter and John and for Peter he uses uh, the, the Latin dative but then um, for John, he doesn't use the Latin form uh, and rather one that rhymes easier. So Rhein uh, Zwang is a, a, a strong force in German literature. Uh, Johann uh, rhymes with Entstan. Then we have um, Mary Magdalene, in a way, picking up uh, the sound of the lament, so um, this Ave, which we had seen. And then um, she repeats um, these couple of lines, um, uh, actually four times in the whole play. Wo ist nur hin mein Trost, der mich von Sünden hat erlost? And um, it's not just uh, that uh, 
the author runs out of um, lines and just fills up anything, but it's really trying to drive home the key message uh, so to, um, that it's about redemption, a uh, So it's, it's not just the play you are watching, it has um, imminent existential uh, <laughs> relevance. Um, and so this is uh, a repetition uh, with a purpose. Uh, so um, uh, then um, comes um, the dialogue with Jesus, which is based on the so-called uh, Hortulanus scene. Hortulanus, uh, the little gardener, is um, the n n n name for uh, the um, term used. Um, for uh, Jesus in the encounter between Mary Magdalene and um, uh, Christ because she mistakes him for the gardener. I've uh, given you the marginal illustration from a prayer book which I'm currently editing which is from the North German convent of Medingen and there you see uh, the garden scene um, you see here the jar with the ointment uh, that uh, Mary has just uh, put aside to fall to her knees and um, adore Christ because it's from after she has realized who it is she's talking to. Uh, Jesus has a spade um, in his left hand but in the right hand he has the staff with the cross and banner and he shows his wounds so he is um, the dead and risen um, uh, Christ, but also in the guys. Um, and I'm not sure you probably can't see what uh, the speech bubble says for Mary Magdalene, but it says, Sancte Deus, Sancte Fortis, Sancte et Immortalis, which is uh, the so called Trishagion of the liturgy. Uh, which was part of the Easter liturgies, so the nuns would have sung it in the night um, when they uh, of the resurrection, and it's also what uh, Mary is uh, singing in the uh, play here when Jesus comes with a. Uh, this banner. And um, just a word about uh, dressing up. So we had seen they would just wear normally their uh, liturgical garb, but they would also have some props. And um, we know that these kind of props were also used for statues. So this is a statue um, from Wienhausen, another of the northern German convents, with that, which I'm slightly obsessed. Um, and he ha um, we have just a pair of wings and holes in there, which show you could put angels on the um, tomb for, for Easter. Um, and um, you could dress them in, with different uh, dresses because the, you could take off the f wings so you could fit the um, liturgical dress over it and then put the wings back in place. And Jesus had different colored banners. We only have one banner that's uh, there, but you see his hand um, is like, so the left hand, he, with the right hand he is blessing, and in the left hand he has um, the banner which could be exchanged. In the same way they um, could, when acting out, get these props, so um, the person who is Jesus should be a devout priest. Mary should be played by a young man, Juvenis, um, 
and also John the Evangelist, Mary Magdalene, and the mother of John the Evangelist, they should all be played by Juvenese young men. Um, Jesus ought to prepare himself with a, a chasuble, uh, so a large liturgical garment, which would be worn by the priest for um, the high feast with a red chasuble, um, and uh, John's in the similar way. And Jesus and John should have diademata de papiro. Um, <laughs> so um, you probably understand. So uh, uh, like uh, 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 crowns made out of paper, um, and uh, so that you can uh, distinguish them. The diadema Jesu habeat rubram crucem ante et retro. So the um, little crown for uh, Jesus should have a red cross at the front and at um, the back. Yeah, uh, there comes this um, Sancte Deus and so on, and um, uh, Christ says uh, Noli Metangere, which is the other name for that saying, don't touch me because I'm not yet risen. So uh, here yeah, the uh, Noli Metangere comes at that point. Um, and if you were a nun in 1478, you could uh, then continue having your little prayer book uh, with you uh, and following, imagining what was happening uh, back in Galilee by uh, following the marginal scenes. So you see here, the lit liturgy is uh, written out with red uh, musical notation. And here you see Mary Magdalene telling the astonished apostles or uh, uh, throwing up uh, their arms, or at least their right arm uh, in the air, while with the left hand they have a sc uh, scroll bubble um, telling what they're going uh, to do. And um, we don't have any more stage directions, but uh, then uh, Thomas, who isn't with the other apostles when Mary uh, announces the resurrection of Christ, must have come from a different stage location and then uh, turn off uh, and uh, doesn't believe it. Uh, so the doubting Thomas and um, Mary Magdalene recalls what she said and it's actually the words from the liturgy not uh, the words in the Bible but um, the Tris Hagion and then um, Jesus comes um, it will uh, you will have to um, imagine some quick costume changes, which um, I didn't. I, I meant to bring uh, different colored gowns, but yeah. So uh, then Jesus comes and uh, talks to Thomas, and then comes a, a full uh, collection of the whole. Um, uh, spiritual meaning of this scene uh, since Mary sings the Victime Pascali Laudis, so the sequence. The sequence is structured in a way that you have always um, repeat verses, so you have a, an introduction and then you have 2A, 2B, which is uh, structured in the same way and also rhetorically repeats um, things. And um, so you have uh, also Walter von der Vogelweide introduces uh, the sequence as a form into uh, German uh, poetry, religious poetry. Um, 
it's uh, regarded as the highest art form by the um, Middle High German poet. So in the Manessische Liederhandschrift, you always have, if anybody, any of them has written a sequence, it's the first um, of their text, and then the other songs come after that. So um, she sings that. Um, the first part, and then Peter and John, as apostles, uh, sing the part of uh, the question, Die Knobis Maria, quid vidis die in via? And then uh, she expands on that. Um, then you have another comic element, uh, kind of a comic relief, uh, the racing to the tomb and there was uh, some space for improvisation. And uh, John is then kept on and probably would be the same person who did the prologue, uh, the expositor Ludi, because it picks up on all the elements. So he was announcing at the beginning what you should learn and now as a good teacher he sums up what you've just seen and what it is, Beduten. Uh, Beduten, uh, the Dute is the same element that is in um, Bedeutung and in Deutsch. So it's telling it in the vernacular, but also um, making sense of the whole uh, thing. Um, it's a pity that the word has died out. Uh, I can't any longer say it. Ich bedeute Ihnen, uh, was das ist. Um, and you can still use the noun Bedeutung. Mm -hmm. And when he asks everybody, und singet alle Gleiche, Christ ist entstanden von Himmelriche, and it would have ended uh, with a communal singing. So um, we'll just practice that so that you can join in at the end. Um, the neighbors said they liked it, but I perhaps uh, um, <coughs> And the Christ is erstanden, which is um, the song still sung um, every Easter morning across uh, Germany, is based the tune on the Victime Pascali Laude. So it was used from the 14th century in congregations as an answer. So the clergy would sing the sequence, Victime Pascal Laudis, and the congregation would answer as a refrain uh, with the Christus erstanden. So, Victime Pascal Laudis, wie mola kasiyani, und dann Christus erstanden, it uh, picks up the same. Um, so, um, I'll just uh, sing it part by part. Christ is the standing. Christ. Everybody? <laughs> Christ is the standing. Von der Herr Martha alle. Von der Herr Martha alle. From the start again. Christ. Christ is the standing von der Herr Martha alle. Das sollen wir alle froh sein. Das sollen wir alle froh sein. Christ soll unser Trost sein. Christ soll unser Trost sein. Kyrie Leison, Kyrie Leison. Good. All right, so we are all set. Um, good. Let's go. <laughs> Aus Ostion Lapidem, quem tegere Sanctum Zernibus Sepulchrum. Hätte die Kund. 
Wer hätte mit uns hier abbe den Stein von dem Grabe, dass wir unseren Herrenbögen gesehen, wann uns groß Leid ist geschehen? Wenn Quermitis o tremulin mulieris in hoc tumulo plorantis. Primus Angelus Dizit. Wen sucht ihr drei Frauen diesen Morgen, befangen und großen Sorgen? Jesu Nazarin Crucifixum Querimus. Sekunda Persona Dizit. Das tun wir unseren Herrn Jesum Christ, der von den Juden gemartert ist. Sekundus Angelus Dizit. Wen sucht ihr die Frauen so früh in diesem Tower so nah wie diesem Grabe? Könnt ihr uns das gesagen? Das tun wir dem, der gemartert ist von Nazareth und heißt Christ. Nun ist die Quequeritis, Setzito eontis, Nunziate discipulis eius et Petro, quod so rexet Jesus. Tertius Angelus Dizit. Er ist nicht hier, den ihr sucht. Geht, hab ich's gerucht, und sage Petro und Johann, dass er von dem Tode sie erstaunt. I only just realized, of course, um, they have the Petro form to pick up the Latin, while uh, John isn't in the Latin, so, yeah. Angelicata. Venite et videte locum ubi positus er dominus. Alleluia, alleluia. Ja. Primus Angelus Dizit. Er ist nicht der ein Tuchelin, da Jesus war gewunden eben. Er ist von dem Tod erstarren und ist kein Galiläer gegangen. Ad monumentum venimus gementis, angelus domini vidimus sedentis, et dezentis quoso rexit Jesus. Prima Person erkannt. Jesu nostra vedentio, amo et desiderium, et eas reato omnium. Homo in fide temporum. Sekunda Persona Cantat. Schwede vici clementia, ut feris nostra crimina, crude de morte patiens, sut nosa morte toleris. Terzia Persona Cantat. Cum vernissimum, vernissim ungere votum, monumentum in vidi vacuum. Hoi, nestio recte discernere, ubi posso magistrum quevere. Ah, wie der Mähre, ah, wie der jämmerlichen Klage, das Grab, was Leere, ah, weh, miner Tage, wo ist nur hin, mein Trost, der mich von Sünden hat erlöst, der die Sünden mir vergab, den sag ich legen in ein Grab. Ah, wie Jammer und Leid, das mein armes Herz treibt, ich habe verloren, meinen Trost, der mich von Sünden hat erlöst. Darum muss ich sorgen, den Abend und den Morgen. In Lapsis ist wäre Depositus, qui fore den Signo Positus, munierend locum militibus, locus vacat eis absentibus. Tunc Jesus venit in specie hortulani, et cantat. Mulier her quid pelloras quem queris, hat sie Person cantat. O Domini, si tu sustini eum, dicite nium, o be posuisti eum, et ego eum tollam. Ist das guter Frau und Recht, dass sie umlaufen als die Knecht, so froh in diesem Garten? Es hast du ihr zu warten. Warum schreckst du mich an? Ich suche den heiligen Mann, den heiligen Mann, den die Juden haben erschlagen. Kannst du mir da aber ich gesagen? Zwar, er muss dir lieb sehen, dass du so quälst den Leben. Sprich, guter Gärtenäre, durch aller Frauen Ehre, hast du von ihm nicht vernommen, sage mir es, es mag dir frummen. Gut wie, ich sage dir, Anna Hass, suche den Herrn vor was. Maria Putzel, Ulterius Controllum. Du locres geht strem und precordia, die magistri pii absentia, qui salve dit mir nem vitis, pulsia me septum demoni. Ich habe verloren meinen Trost, der mich von Sünden hat erlöst. Leider jämmerlichen, das weiß Gott der Rieche. Ich stirbe gerne, mocht es gesehen, wenn er hat das Herz in ihm berichtet und bekehret, wenn es was beswehret mit sieben Tüfeln, das ist wahr, die trug ich leider mannig ja. Nur ein Darf der Sündere, wie groß die Sünde wäre, nicht zwiefeln an der Gnaden Gottes. 
Der Gnaden und des Gebots soll der Sünder geruchen, zu Gott soll er Gnaden suchen. Wie groß des Menschen Sünde sie, Gott, der verleht ihm doch die Gnade dabei. Jesus venit cum vexilo. Maria Kantor. Heu redemptio Israel und quitt sustinit mortem partiens. Ach, du Löser aller Christenheit, worum lädest du den bitten Tod so geduldiglich? Maria. Rabbi, Rabbi. Gott wie sie Magister. Jesus kann hat. Prima quidem sufragias, dona tulit carnalia, exibendo communia, sefer nature munia. Sancte Deus. Hec prioridis similis, hec istico optimilis, quetum fuit passibilis, iam monerit solubilis. Sancte Fortis. Ergo nodi metangere, nikulta vils plangere, quem mox in porosidere, cernis ad patrem scandere. Sancte et immortalis miserive nobis. Friede und Gnade sind mit dir. Du wolltest mich nie vorziehen von mir. Darum ist dir das Heil geschehen, dass du mich zu dem Ersten hast gesehen. Aber ihr erzählt. Wäre wie die Dominum vivere, ne die visit mit pedes tangere, willst die polos opert kredere, oder patron betet ascendere. Ich sag wehrlich, lebenden Herren mien, er ließ mich nicht rühren, die Füße sehen, die Jünger schollen des Glaubig sehen, dass er will stiegen zu dem Vater sehen. Thomas wenet et et Maria dicet. Maria, lass ihn schallen. Wie mochte das gefallen? Wie mochte das immer geschehen, dass ein toter Mann noch du für ihn steht? Ah, weh, du ungläubiger Thomas, du redest, ich weiß nicht was. Ja, sag ich mir, den Herren, also in großen Ehre, er grüßte mich. Da sprach ich. Sancte Deus, Sancte Fortis, Sancte et Immortalis, Miserere Nobis. Zu Galilea sollst du gehen, so machst du die Wahrheit gesehen. Maria, erzählt. Ähm, Jesus redet, also die zählt äh, Thomas. Thomas, lieber Freund, mein, du sollst nicht ungläubig sehen. Du sollst ihn gläubig zu allen Stunden. Leda, ne, la, die ne Fingere in mine Wunden. Gnade, lieber Herr Lewin, von der Kraft der Gnaden, die glaube ich, dass du der bist, der wahrer Gott und Mensch ist und glaube vor Ort und bin gewiss, dass du von dem Tode entstanden bist. Thomas, mich haben gesehen, die Augen dien, des Schaltu geloben dich sehen. Ich dachte das vor Ort, dass sie krönet, mein Vater zwar, die an mich glauben und jenen und mich nie haben gesehen. Maria Kantat. Dick nobis Maria, quid vidis di in via. Sepulcro Christi Gebetis, si gloria filiquis o gehitis. Wo wäre du so nah bei dem Grabe, kannst du uns davon nicht gesagen? Ja, ich kann dir gesagen, da habe. Ich war's gegangen zu dem Grabe, es war's vor dem Tage früh. Ich sag die Engel, sie sprachen mir zu, so schön und klar, also ein Für. Ich wähnte, es wäre ungehör. Ich fürchte, dass sie nie in Worten gewahr. Sie riefen mir, da ging ich da. Sie sagte mir gute Meere, dass Jesus entstanden wäre. Der Prophetenwort ist ergangen, dass er ist von dem Tode erstarren. Credendum ist magis, so die Marie. Marie Verazzi, quam, äh, I think it's all the apostles. Um, credendum est magis soli, Marie Verazzi, quam judeorum tobe falazzi, simus Christum surexisse, ex mortu es vere, tu nobis victorix miserere. Now, yeah. Et cum, that's a good comment. Carant. 
Corim und du und sie mir ad ele alios discipulus precore citius ad vene prior ad monumentum. Alleluia! Servitus o soci excellentiamenti, et corpus non est in sepulto inventum, secht viel lieben, das Tuch, das uns widerwand den Fluch, der uns in den Paradiese ward gegeben, wir schollen alle mit Gott erleben. Johannes Dietzet. Nur hoch, viel lieben Lute, lasst euch mehr bedüte, wir schollen uns freuen alle, dass wir sind erlost von dem ewigen Falle. Gott hat uns gelebt in den Tod. Und hat uns erlost aus der hellen Not. Er hat gebunden den Tuffel mit seiner Hand und hat zugebrochen die helle Wand. Darum alle Gemeinde, beide groß und kleine, sollen wir loben den Heiligen Christ, der vor dem Tod erstanden ist. Auch hatte ich mich vergessen, die armen Schule haben nicht zu essen. Den sollt ihr zu tragen braten, Schule und Wachfladen. Wer ihn gebt, ihre Braten, den will Gott hüte und immer mehr verraten. Wer ihn gebet, ihre Fladen, den will Gott in das Himmelreiche laden. Nur heute für die Lute alle, die Priester und die Schule alle, bitten wo Gott mit großem Schalle, dass er uns allen wolle geben, noch im Wesen leben, das ewige Leben, und singet alle Grieche, Christ ist entstanden von Himmel Grieche. Christ ist der Stande von der Mutter alle, der sollen wir alle vorsehen. Christ soll unser Trost sehen, Kyrie Eleison. Well done. Uh, well done. Um, we've just a, a five minutes uh, left to go back to uh, the epilogue. Um, because um, what I uh, forgot or uh, not mentioned in before, so it's on the one level, a very serious summing up of this is all about salvation history. But it's actually not quite all about salvation history. It's a, a large part of it is about um, Braten, Schultern und Flagen. And um, I had asked Constantine to comment on the file and he looked up, but uh, he couldn't make sense of the because I think you were too much in a spiritual reading of it all. It's um, a handfest uh, begging for food. So the uh, actors come and want to be um, uh, f uh, fed and um, dined and wine. It's uh, the literal singing for your supper as um, all, or most of the Oxford College choirs still do. So you get your uh, Sunday roast after you have uh, sung Eden song, and uh, so the um, uh, clergy, but even more the uh, scholaris, so the uh, clergy in training, the poor students who were in the first classes of their Latin grammar school and had to um, act as uh, the um, supporting uh, caste. They rely on um, the well then, like the uh, two-hour free walking to Oxford uh, that you are then paid after you had uh, seen what they had on offer, and um, <laughs> it's actually intertwined. So you are going uh, to get an invitation from Christ to join him at the heavenly feast. Um, if you now uh, provide an earthly feast to the uh, poor uh, students, and it's, it's all, uh, like in any stand-up performance, integrated uh, in the performance itself so that you don't run off before uh, the <laughs> head goes round to, to collect for the uh, communal. Uh, meal. So it uh, is, is several via dia. Um, whoever gives now, he will get when the um, the heaven be said. Yeah. So wer ihn gebet ihre Braten, den will Gott hüte und immer mehr beraten. 
beraten im Modern German ist irgendwie uh, uh, giving of advice, but uh, it's uh, much more um, down to earth in Middle High German, so beraten means to supply with the necessary uh, goods to help. Wen gibt ihre Fladen? So, uh, uh, you still have uh, now mostly sold as Turkish Fladenbrot. So, uh, um, because uh, of uh, you would bake it on a um, hot plate, like other uh, 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 Italian uh, uh, stone baked <laughs> pizza. So, uh, uh, kind of this kind of dough, it would have been the fladen to. Um, dunk up the um, uh, gravy for the from the uh, braten and uh, so where he gave it ihre fladen den will gott in das himmelreiche laden um, so it's a constant switch between um, the actors uh, being really christ and then being at the same time, very hungry of uh, uh, clergy men. Uh, so next week, uh, we are going to start looking at the first three fragments from Muri. I advise, if you haven't re anyway read it, uh, to read the full thing. Uh, I'm particularly looking for uh, the structural indicators since there are uh, fewer stage directions for the Muri play than for the Innsbruck play. Um, you have to have at the back of your head uh, the structure of the Innsbruck.